Hey collectors, Anthony from Hashes Nut here, and today I have Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Road Rage, a Target exclusive that is a uh, reap color of tracks from the Kingdom line. And when Road Rage isn't being angry in vehicle mode, uh, she serves the job as a bodyguard for the ambassadorial staff of Cybertron and sometimes even plays the diplomat. So when we get back, we're going to take a closer look at her. So on the left we have Road Rage, on the right we have Trax, and you can tell real quick that they are pretty much the same mold, just a different head, and of course, you know, different colors. So uh, if you watch my Trax review, uh, you do uh, learn that I have with the fenders on both sides of the legs, um, they're not pegged in right. Now, Larkin's Lair did a fix for it. Uh, I tried it, but I'm too much of a coward <laughs> to risk breaking the toy. So, uh, I, I, the front fenders on tracks are still loose. But, Road Rage, perfect from beginning to end. Everything is nicely tight. Uh, it, it works as it goes. And on the plus side, both of them stand up. So, we're already like halfway winning there. So, we're going to put these guys aside and take a look at Road Rage's box. Now, as a Target exclusive, they don't seem to do anything special with the box. Uh, it is, it's Road Rage, it's Road Rage, it's Road Rage, although I do appreciate the flame. I, I love the flame way more. Same box, normal stuff. Uh, of course, the Kingdom line is cardboard inserted. So you get um, this piece of cardboard that holds the figure in. Don't forget, if you do get it, weapons are in the back here. There was no card with it. And chances are, if, if there was a card with it, it would be a double and I wouldn't care. So, uh, here is the instructions and here's the don't hurt yourself paper. So, taking a little bit of a closer look at Road Rage. Uh, I mean, she has a feminine face, which I, I did. But, I mean, obviously they didn't do very much or anything else with her body. Short of the obvious color and whatnot. But, um... At least you can tell, looking here, that she's female. Uh, she has all the same features, all the same build, and the transformation is exactly the same. Now, if you watch my Trax review, I, I cheesed the transformation because I was getting impatient with it. Because transforming her legs have half steps. So we're going to take a, just a, here's a, where her gun is. Again, it's the same one as Trax, uh, just different color. I think his is white. And then the pistol. And uh, we're going to put those aside and move tracks out of the way. And uh, first thing, as is common with most Transformers, fold in the hands. Then um, we're going to uh, put the wings down here. And um, hold on, give me one sec. Uh, i got to put the, 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 the door, I guess, the correct way. And put the arm down. Do the same thing here. Put the, arm, uh, the wing down. And just keep them to the side. So once you have the arms just kind of out of the way and there's nice T-pose. Um, the next thing I would recommend doing is the this is a false top. Um, you gotta have to pull it up a little bit to pull out this piece here and push the false top in. And if you want to, and it might uh, make things a little bit easier when you're working on the bottom, uh, the back just detaches from this uh, bit here, uh, this tab here, and you can just leave it up there. You can even twist it around because you're going to use it. This is how it goes over the vehicle mode. Uh, next, twist the waist and you end up like this. Now, here's where I cheesed it last time. Uh, I'm going to try to follow these steps exactly. Uh, the instructions say... Uh, hold on, let me just connect the legs panels from here. The instructions say open up these. So, uncovering the legs. Then you take the 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 feet and the fenders and roll them up and while they're up you have to collapse the legs in so you try to do that and you put the feet through the waist here and you close the leg so to repeat uh, pull the leg in oops pull the foot through the waist hole here 
and, and this is where it like it's kind of half steps. You can move this a little bit, you move this a little bit, you move this a little bit, uh, and then you can connect the front end if you want, and uh, you can snap these pieces in and move these like this, and um, essentially they're they're going to just sit right here. Next, you can put down the top here. If you don't have the arms um, in the way, you just put them down like this. It'll be a little bit easier to put it on because it kind of fills in some gaps here. Uh, I found it more difficult if I had the arms in place first. Uh, before you pull it up, of course, you pull out this double hinge, which has the windshield. Uh, and then you pull it over. And uh, there's the pieces here and here where this snaps in. And uh, you try to keep everything neat and even. And uh, yes, things are going to pop out. It happens. Pull up this a little bit. Not too much. Maybe you'll get lucky and it'll snap into place. There's two clear tabs here, which are a pain to get in. But once you get them in, you hear, hear a very satisfying snap. So uh, now we have these like this. You can, at this point, if you wanted to, uh, kind of go convert into the flight mode. And um, the flight mode, of course, is just simply pulling the arms back out and uh, positioning the, the tops of the arms out like this. Making sure the wings are out. Position the top of the arms. And then there are tail fins back here. Another thing I forgot during the tracks review. Uh, if they do pop off like this, just snap them back on. Oh, let me grab that. So there, there it is in flight mode. I think the, the first off, this, I, I love it. I wish it was on tracks. Uh, but the, um, the flight mode actually I think looks cooler on her than it does tracks. Uh, I, I, I just, it, I don't know why. I, I mean, red is my favorite color, so that might be it. Um, oh, now she's popping off here. Oh, so, lasted so long. It, I literally get three transformations out of it. Today is a good day to join our cause, Thundercracker. The Transformers, more than meets the eye. Blitzwing's not down yet. Ugh, you got that right, auto scum. Okay, so we're going to complete car mode by, of course, putting these in. And you just flip them about. There we go. And then you uh, want to change the arms around before you pull the wing back in it. Uh, make sure they face like this. And then straighten them out. Fold them down. And uh, then you can put it into place. There are tabs on the sides here. So it's going to catch in here. It makes it a pain in the butt to pull back out later. Um, not quite sure why they did this. Uh, but you can hear them snap in. And it does make the car mode fairly tightly packed. Uh, so it doesn't feel loose at all. And as you see, she rolls rather good. And then, of course, you can throw this on as kind of a booster. And uh, you can throw the gun on the fender or wherever. And uh, I think she looks pretty good. So here is Road Rage next to Trax. And um, you can see, of course, uh, his fenders are coming up. And now I have a loose one on here. That's very annoying. She had no QC issues <laughs> until I did this. Um, I, the one thing I did, do not like is the fact that I'm just fingering up these screen, these windows, but that's uh, that's just me. But uh, you can see the the minor differences here. Although you know, um, what was that? There was a yeah, they painted the wheel on accident here. That's that's not a big gripe, but you know, it, I guess I can live with it. Um, I could probably clean it off too, so it's not a big deal. Um, so, yeah, I mean, generally the same. They both run well. And uh, definitely if you love red and you want, like, this is just, she is just so much cooler looking than I think Trax is. But Trax is a classic. Because Hasbro has to Hasbro, inevitable recolors happen, but... Bro Rage is definitely uh, an up on the original coloring of tracks. 
I, I dig her story. I like the fact that she she uh, her inner vehicle mode just ju juxtaposes her uh, bot mode, uh, where in bot mode she is cordial and diplomatic. Where she gets into vehicle mode, she is basically mirage on uh, uppers. So um, she actually gets so obsessed with speed that she has to apologize when she returns back to bot mode because she's an inevitably offended somebody. But uh, definitely, in my opinion, uh, worth the buy. Uh, her quality is a little bit better, but as you saw during transformation, that Fender did uh, not want to cooperate. But I mean, otherwise, uh, I, I think she's pretty good. And, and as with any figure, if something pops off, you can always put it back in again, just like with the wing. So I'm not sweating those little issues, but uh, I think she looks good. Red and black and blue. It's, it's just an awesome color combination. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think about tracks, Road Rage. Uh, do you think they're going to make a third one out of this mold? That'd be interesting. Who would it be? Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.